There is nothing more important than making it possible for American families to live and enjoy the lives they deserve. This is something we should all agree upon. We will stand up and speak out for the backbone of our economy, the hard-working taxpayer. It's a commitment for a nation that's safe, where communities are protected, law enforcement is respected, and criminals are prosecuted. A commitment for a government that is held accountable, where Americans get the answers they want, need, and deserve. Our system is built on checks and balances. It's time for us to be a check and provide some balance to the President's policies. I know the night is late, but when we come back, our very first bill will repeal the funding for 87,000 new IRS. We believe government should be to help you, not go after you. We're going to pass bills to fix the nation's urgent challenges. From wide open southern borders, to American last energy policies, to woke indoctrination in our schools. Now, speaking of committees, we will hold the swamp accountable. From the withdrawal of Afghanistan, to the origins of COVID, and to the weaponization of the FBI. Let me be very clear. We will use the power of the purse and the power of the subpoena to get the job done. And I make this promise. I'll never give up for you, the American people. And I will never give up on keeping our commitment to America. Our nation is worth fighting for. Our rights are worth fighting for. Our dreams are worth fighting for. Our future is worth fighting for. But we also pledge to bring Congress to the people, because answers have not and will not always be found in Washington. That's why one of our very first hearings will be held on the southern border. No more ignoring a crisis of safety and sovereignty. We must secure our border. My friends, this chamber is now fully open for all Americans to visit. I want to give all Americans a personal invitation. You are welcome to see this body at work. No longer will the doors be closed, but the debates will be open for you to witness what happens in the People's House.